everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Enigma here and I am back for my next episode of my Hollywood Story series. Guys, last episode was major drama. Not only did we hear that Zach might be having an affair, but Nikki and Jenna literally hired somebody to track us down and maybe even kidnap us. So because of Sophie's advice, we did a huge makeover to try and stay in disguise and we even purchased the Aspen Mansion as kind of our secret hideaway. I'm really hoping that today we get some more clarity on the situation and just figure out the truth of what's going on. Let me know your guys' predictions for this video in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in the Aspen apartment and we are just about to get dressed. Somebody had the suggestion that I wear a top and pants this episode because I always wear dresses. So I am going to do it just because you suggested it. And we have the perfect sweater that's very Aspen approved. So hopefully it's not too hot in Hollywood because I think we're headed there next. Now, we just have to figure out what pants to match it with. I think I wore it with these before and I think those look the best so we'll stick with that and we will go ahead and wear a pair of our boots and we are ready. Oh and accessories. We cannot forget the accessories. I can't believe I almost left the house without them. I think something really important to our look today is going to be our sunglasses just to keep us a little bit hidden and make sure that whoever's looking for us doesn't find us. Okay so it looks like we're getting a call. Let's go ahead and answer. I wonder who it is. Oh it's Jennifer. She is our fabulous fabulous, amazing agent, and she is helping us out with this whole Zach situation. Get this, she is secretly spying on Zach and trying to figure out who he's dating. She told us last episode it wasn't Jenna, and I was so relieved because I could not go through another Zena disaster again. But I wonder who else it could be. So can you tell me now? This is big. I'm listening. Well, I've got nothing on Zach yet but I've got something about Amber. Oh my goodness, guys. Amber is our best friend and she has been missing for so long. I have been seriously so nervous about her. I hope she's okay. How is she? It's too dangerous for me to talk about it. Meet your bodyguard, he'll tell you. Hmm, I wonder what a Russian bodyguard knows about the situation. Maybe Jen talked to him ahead of time or maybe we need to rescue Amber, guys. What if she really was kidnapped? Jen, I owe you one. Just go, there's no time to lose. Okay, so it looks like we need to meet our bodyguard on Queen Street and hopefully he can provide us a little bit more information about Amber's situation. Hopefully she can just be rescued soon, guys, because she is one of our only true friends in Hollywood, such a better friend than Nikki. Oh, the paparazzi. Great style. Okay, I actually got four stars. That's not too bad. Whoa, guys, there are four paparazzi now. We are so famous. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. But I hope they don't give out too much of our information because we are trying to hide from the media right now. Okay, so here we are in Queens. It was really tough to get some info on your friend. I'm so sorry. Where is she? How is she? Tell me all. You don't have much business sense, do you? Oh, I get it. We have to pay 2,000 to find out about Amber. I will spend any amount of money to make sure she is safe. Nice. I can tell you your friend is safe. Thank heavens. But where is she? I'm afraid you'll have to be happy with that for now. What? We're paying you guard? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so, so thankful that Amber is safe. Hopefully she's in some kind of witness protection program or something like we had to enter. Hopefully we can just see her soon because we need somebody to talk to about this whole Zach disaster. <gasps> Amber, yay! Hey babe. Hello? What's the matter? Don't you recognize my voice? Amber, I can't believe it's you. I was so worried. I'm so happy to hear your voice. You can't imagine what I've been through, but I'm safe now. I'm so happy you're alive. I wanna see you. Absolutely. Come over to my place. I wanna hug you. You must tell me everything. Sure thing, hurry up, bye. Okay, yay, we are gonna go visit Amber and hopefully she'll just tell us more about this situation. I hope it wasn't anything too scary. I have missed her so much. Hey, my dear. Hi, friend. I missed you so much. You look a little pale. No wonder. What happened to me in the last couple of days? Tell me, tell me, I can't wait. Jenna took me to her place and locked me in her basement? Oh my gosh, guys, I knew Jenna was a totally horrible person, but I never thought she could do something like that. Really? I can't believe it. Yeah, she invited me to her mansion. She told me she would like to show me something. Next thing I remember is waking up in some dark basement. Oh my goodness, guys, is Jenna gonna get arrested? That's so horrible. 
Yeah, and then she fell asleep and I took the keys and ran away. Do you think she might have followed you? I think she was way too sleepy. Totally insane. I really hope the police will do their job. She's dangerous. I filed a report against her. Oh, thank goodness, Amber. I am so glad she filed a report. Hopefully the police will solve this problem. That was the best thing to do. Now her days are numbered. Oh my goodness, how amazing would that be if we just never had to deal with Jenna again and she was just in jail forever? Hey, check the TV. There's some breaking news. It could be about Jenna. Let's see what this news is all about. We interrupt this program to bring you some breaking news. Hollywood megastar Jenna is on the run. Jenna is suspected of committing a kidnapping. The police are after her, but catching her is not going to be an easy task. Police authorities say Jenna is constantly using new fake IDs. Citizens are urged to go to the police if they happen to find Jenna's used fake IDs. Oh my goodness. So it seems like the police are looking for Jenna, but she is literally on the run, which means she's avoiding her arrest and trying to hide her identity to escape getting in trouble. Can you believe this? It's totally like Jenna. It's only a matter of time when she gets busted. I must help the police to find her fake IDs. I really want to help them nail her. Yeah, me too. I would help you, but I really need to rest. I'm going, Amber. I want her to pay. Yes, we are gonna do this for Amber, guys. I hope she can just recover. We are gonna just skip because we need to figure out the drama. We need to get Jenna arrested ASAP. Hi, Starlet. Have you seen the breaking news? Oh, hi, Sophie. Yeah, I saw the news. I was with Amber. Is she all right? She's fine now. She's resting at her place. You must be relieved now. No reason for felling concerns. So how about an interview? I'm cool. Anyway, I can't turn you down twice. No, you can't. It brings bad celeb karma. Let's meet right away. It's like a deal. Okay, so we are gonna meet Sophie to give an interview and, oh, she's here, perfect. <laughs> you look fantastic as always. Thank you, Sophie. What do you want to ask me? Well, you already told me Amber's okay. So what happened to her? She was kidnapped. Oh no, by whom? None other than Jenna. That's horrible. She'll never get out of this one. I sure hope so. Well, I'm so glad to hear Amber's okay now. And what about your love life? Can't you tell me something about that? It's not exactly a pleasant topic. I overheard something about Zach having a lot of fun around town. Zach is history now. Really? That's cover material. And you're probably seeing someone. I have no comment regarding that. That's it? That's all I'm gonna get? You should be grateful. What if I told you I just saw Zach and Nikki at the karaoke bar? Oh my goodness, Sophie has got to be kidding. Honestly, I would not even be surprised. Nikki has been such a bad friend. Like she wanted us to be kidnapped. Okay guys, this was our best friend when we were a kid, but she means nothing to me now. No way. Yes way. And they were plotting something very likely against you. We need to get down to this. Could Nikki be the one dating Zach? Guys, you have to let me know what you think in the comments. So they're still there? They are so gonna hear it from me, and I hope you won't go easy on her. I could use a big, nice, juicy scoop. I don't know about your scoop, but nobody is gonna treat me with disrespect. Oh my goodness, we need to go ASAP to the karaoke bar and figure this out. Well, here's Zach. Hey, you two, what's going on? Oh, hi baby, we were just talking about you. Don't you baby me, you backstabber. He is right. We were talking how you achieved so great a career so quickly. Obviously, you're dying of jealousy. We're giving you a compliment. No reason to be rude. You disgust me. You're both so insensitive to my feelings. You're the ones who's insensitive. Yeah, you can't go around hurting other people's feelings like that. We're over. I don't want to see you or you ever again. You must admit we make a nice couple. Oh my goodness, bomb dropped. Nikki is the girl. I cannot believe her, guys. She is so jealous of us, though. I should not have expected anything else. You're not nice, and I don't like you. From now on, you don't exist as far as I'm concerned. I am too famous for both of you. I already have an audition for a new blockbuster. I am the future, you're the past. Wow, snap. 
Okay, Enigma is getting fired up and I kind of agree. I think we should just be done. I would be so happy to move on from the Zack situation and literally never talk to him again. He was, I thought he was so nice at first and then I really just realized he's not a nice person and Nikki has just caused us too much trouble and we gave her chances, guys. I'm totally into second chances, third chances, but we've given her, I'm out. I'm out of chances at this point. Like, she should have stepped up her game and I'm just gonna get a new haircut and somebody was saying I should get some bangs and I feel like that's a good idea so we just need a new haircut we're gonna get a fresh do and then we are going to do a movie cuz we're we just need that we need that right now you know like we are done we are leaving our old self behind I'm gonna do that it's kind of bangs it's like side bangs I think it looks really cute and we're just gonna go shoot a movie and just leave all these people behind us. It looks like it's a horror film, so I'm just gonna spend a couple of diamonds to get all of our audition requirements. Perfect. Okay, so since it's a horror film, I'm going to get dressed up to be, you know, all ready and get our extra style points at our lovely Hollywood mansion. So let's take a look at our um, horror film options. I know I have a couple, or I at least have one. I think the Maleficent looking one is a horror film. Yeah, perfect, okay. I haven't seen any horror ones available recently though, so I think that's the only one I have. I like when they have more than one so I can like mix and match the pieces, but this works fine for today. I'm gonna take off our watch and then also our glasses. Awesome, I am so excited to play this movie. Let's go to the movie set and figure out what it's all about. You're making a whole new movie, a horror movie. I've never done a horror movie, wow, how cool. You play teenage girl Lily. In this scene, you throw a great party. Neighbors complain and you all end up in a police station. Then ghost mummy of Egyptian Pharaoh appears and possesses all of your friends. Wow, okay, I do not know how a ghost mummy of Egyptian Pharaoh appears, but we'll go with it. It sounds really scary. We are about to roll the cameras, come quick. Will this scene also be scary? Well, taking a look at the mummy in the back, I am already freaked out. Scary and creepy and spooky. Lily finds out her grand-grandma was an Egyptian explorer. On an expedition, she launched an ancient curse in a tomb of a pharaoh. She didn't believe it and took the mummy to a museum. No way. I'm shivering all over. Come on in. Ready for some action? Always. What's up this time? Lily goes to an Egyptian museum to explore the mummy. Pharaoh Ghost enters it and Mummy is alive. It tells you you are a reincarnation of your grand grandma and now you have to finish what you started long ago. That's so tense. Then the mummy takes you away. He needs your blood to bring him back from the dead. Wow, this is like the most intricate plot of all time. I so can't wait to get this movie published. You are going to love this scene. It takes place in an old forest castle. A mummy took Lily there. Her possessed friends are preparing everything for a cursed ritual that will bring the pharaoh back. Then the horde of mummies come in and start eating your friends. The pharaoh wants to eat you in the end. No way I'm going to get eaten by some creepy mummy. Don't be scared. It's just a movie. Anyway, you find a magic stone in that box on the floor. It breaks the curse and you manage to escape. And the pharaoh has to wait another 2,000 years to come back. Wow, okay, that was a really crazy plot. What a fun movie though. I love the theme and I feel like neither of these names match. Let's name it Mummy. Okay, perfect. We are gonna publish that and we have our next movie out which is awesome because, let me use my, I have two trophies, so not as many as usual, but I do have a couple. Yay, oh, we got a lot of missions done. That's awesome, okay. Let me use my star as well. So we are currently an icon, but we are slowly but surely working on our next stage of fame. We need a lot of stuff though, because we need 5 million fans and we need to shoot 60 more movies and we need to get eight more levels. So it is going to be quite a while until we get there, but that is what I'm slowly working on. Let's answer the phone. Hola. Santiago, I'm not coming back to your ski lessons. Okay, so just a reminder, Santiago was our ski coach in Aspen, but it was kind of a trick because he just wanted to teach us how to take selfies and we wanted to learn how to actually ski. I took your advice seriously. I went skiing, like for real, and I broke my leg. So I blame you for this and I hope you feel guilty. Bye. Oh my gosh. 
I've gotta visit Santiago and call Amber. Ah, okay, well, sorry, Santiago. I didn't mean go, I just meant like, don't say you teach skiing if you only teach how to take selfies, you know? That was my point mainly. Manalo, I need a new haircut. Waiting for you. Great, see ya. Okay, well, we just got a new haircut, but it's easy enough to switch up their hair. Why not? We just did it for the movie. And we have one more phone call. Hey, guess what? What? You are never gonna guess. I give up. Come on, try anyway. You're hungry. No. Then you're in trouble. No. Oh, come on, Amber, stop acting silly. I just got engaged. Oh my gosh, what? I'm so happy for Amber, guys. David is her plastic surgery boyfriend, um, her British plastic surgery boyfriend, actually. He completely ruined our face a couple episodes, and then we had to reverse it all. Um, but that's okay. I'm so excited for her. What awesome news, especially after she went through such a traumatic situation. Oh, Amber, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. This is such great news to receive, especially because we just had a really dramatic breakup. I need a special outfit for our romantic dinner. Will you help me choose one? I'll be glad to. You'll be my fashion guru. Meet me in the shopping street. I can't wait. Yeah, I'll do that for you. See you. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so excited that we get to help Amber plan her dream wedding. Okay, so I think the first thing that we should do is get our hair cut at Manalo's because why not? Let's talk to him. Hey, Manalo, what's going on? Nothing special. My exciting life is not that exciting at the moment. Meaning that your guests don't have exciting lives at the moment? Exactly. It happens now and then. Ready for your haircut? Yep. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, guys. This is Riley. She is the top Instagram influencer, and she is causing us so much trouble because she thinks she's so much better than us when we are the top movie star in Hollywood. Hi, Manalo. Oh, Riley. I'm ready for my haircut. You're gonna have to wait. Really? Don't worry, Riley. Make yourself comfortable. And it's for free, right? Of course. Great. Oh my goodness, guys. Riley, for some reason, gets everything for free. I think it's because if she leaves a good review of places, the companies will pay her because so many people come. And that is the problem with social media influencers is they get paid by companies and then you can never trust whether their opinion is real or not. See you, Enigma. Manalo, what's wrong with you? Sorry, Enigma. Can't say no to Riley. Yeah, you can. Nah. Too dangerous, girl. I have social media accounts as well. I can post about this online. And people will actually support me for letting Riley in front of you. Sorry, it's a weird time to be alive. Can't change it. You can wait here. It'll only take two hours. No heckin' way. I'm gonna cut my hair myself. This makes me so angry. Ugh, can't believe it. Oh my goodness, I am done. I am done. We, okay, we leveled up at least, and at least we got some more fans, so we're over a million again, because I keep getting over a million, then losing them when I, like, don't come on every single day. I'm done, though. I don't want my hair done. I'm fine. We're gonna get changed, and then we're gonna go meet Amber, and hopefully find something totally awesome for her to wear to her romantic engagement dinner. Okay, so now we are all dressed up and ready to meet Amber. Are you nervous? Well, I got butterflies in my stomach. I would be totally nervous if I were you. It would be so sweet. Only, uh, what? What's bothering you? Tell me. Nothing. It's just that I can't seem to find a satisfying relationship. I'm so sorry. I know the feeling. But I'm sure you will find someone. I must really suck at dates. No, you don't. You're being too hard on yourself. Don't lose hope. Maybe it's just not the right time. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just too tired at the moment. Yeah, me too. But David's proposal got me so pumped. Well, I'm over with Zach. What? Yeah, he's messing around with Nikki. What a jerk. Forget it. You're right. Let's do some shopping. Remember, that's why we're here. I don't want to ruin your mood. I'll also buy something. Yay, shopping always lifts your spirits. Yay, okay, I'm so excited. You guys were telling me you wanted me to go on a shopping spree, so why not do it right now? That's really pretty. 
I think I'm gonna get this dress because I've had it, my eye on it for a couple of days and I think I'm also gonna get this one. Two off the shoulder looks, but I love them both. CC, I need a haircut. There's no reason to call me. Come and visit. All right. Yay! Okay, we are going back to Cece. She was our original hairdresser when we first arrived in New York. And we, I'm just so excited to deal with her. I am not gonna deal with Manolo if he puts Riley in front of us. How did it go? Did you manage to catch Zach and Nikki at the bar? Sophie, I feel terrible. Some love poison? They were laughing at me the whole time we were talking. They were mocking me and acting crazy. And? I dumped them both, said I don't want to see them again. Good, good. And? Sophie. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Do you know Zach and Nikki are the new power couple now? What? No. Well, that was expected, I guess. Yep, they have entered the public domain. Olivia wants them to do a special appearance. Isn't everyone getting sick of seeing Zach with all these different people? I am done with them, and so should the rest of the world. How pathetic. And by the way, Olivia seems to be on your side. She wants to meet you, so she asked me to tell you. Really? Thank you, Sophie. Oh my goodness, guys, that is amazing. I love Olivia. Seriously, going on her show for the first time was like my favorite thing in the whole game. Yeah, just don't make her wait for too long. Okay, well, actually, I'm really happy that we get to talk to Olivia about this because then I know she will really represent our perspective when Zach and Nikki go on her show. I'm so mad at them, guys. What do you think about this huge drama? Can you believe that Zach was cheating on us with Nikki? What a terrible friend and boyfriend. Next episode, we are definitely going to talk to Olivia. I also want to get our hair done by Cece and just continue all the wonderful missions that we have and continue our path to fame. Oh, and we have to continue to help Amber plan her amazing wedding. I am so excited. I hope we are the bridesmaid of honor. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.